Unit Twelve, Analysis. Newton's laws of motion apply perfectly to the world of golf. We're all aware that a golf ball moves when it is hit by force. However, there are outside forces that keep a golf ball from moving in its original direction forever. A ball may have a straight path when the club hits it, but then gravity pulls the ball toward Earth and can keep it from going straight. Air resistance, a form of friction, then slows the ball. Once a golf ball connects with the ground again, it slows down even more because a grassy and sandy surface creates more friction with the ball than air. Practice one. Prior to the modern era, the Chinese actor, whether rural amateur or urban professional, rarely enjoyed the respect that society pays him or her today. Until recently, in fact, a theater practitioner could hardly earn his living with one stationary troupe. He often became an itinerant performer, traveling among small towns and rural villages to perform during festivals or to celebrate important occasions in the lives of the local gentry. Most individual actors were at least part-time itinerants, contributing to the image of the vagabond good-for-nothing that afflicted his profession for centuries. In the imperial period, entire urban troops might tour the countryside at harvest, New Year, and other festival times. Two. Every great thing that was ever started began in uncertainty. Thomas Alva Edison asked, "Will this work?" And now we experience the gift of the light bulb. Steve Jobs pondered, "Is there a need for this?" And now we have mini computers that fit in our pockets. In order to bring our ideas or dreams to life, we have to expect fear and uncertainty, welcome it in, and know that once we face it, it no longer has a hold on us. We must remind ourselves that there are two possible ends to every uncertain journey we embark upon: either we learn a lesson that brings us one step closer to our true desires, or we reach the point we set out for. Practice three. As we grow older, the eye lens becomes more yellow, causing poorer color discrimination in the green, blue, violet end of the spectrum. Also, the lens's ability to adjust and focus declines as the muscles around it stiffen. This is what causes difficulty in seeing close objects clearly, called presbyopia. Necessitating either longer arms or corrective lenses, to complicate matters further, the time our eyes need to change focus from near to far, or vice versa, increases. This also poses a major problem in driving, because drivers are constantly changing their focus from the instrument panel to other autos and signs on the highway. Older drivers may miss important information because of their slower refocusing time.